I thought I'd share with you the glue that I use and how I use it um, for my exterior woodwork. Um, yes, you can get exterior grade um, PVA, but they're never that waterproof, to be honest, and they will fail outside. Internal work or a bit damp or what have you, absolutely fine. But I don't use this. Yeah, I mainly use my powdered resin wood glues. This is okay. It works perfectly fine for most internal purposes, without shadow of a day. Um, so I keep it for that. So there's, there's a lot of different PVAs out there. You've got obviously tight bond. Um, this one here, so the, the Everbuild um, construction uh, PVA. Uh, but then obviously you've got your Evo sticks, etc. etc. There's loads of them. You know, there's, there's masses of them. Gorilla glue, you, you name it. There's loads. But I tend to use powdered resin wood glue. Now, how that comes is either in a tub like this one, this is the resin type. Um, this is an, an old tub that I had, but inside there I've actually got a different brand, it's actually Cascomite. And I buy in a sack. So I buy, a, um, I think it's a 25 kilo sack of um, uh, powdered resin wood glue, and I just decanter it into an old tub like this, because it's got a lid, I can keep it dry, I don't have to. Uh, make the whole bag dirty, for instance, if I have an accident, something like that, not the whole, the whole sack. So it makes a lot more sense. But, to mi mix it, you just need to be able to have access to water, obviously, because that's what it, yeah, that's what you mix it with. You need a vessel to mix it into, in this case this is an old yoghurt um, pot, and, uh, and a mixing stick. Now, I've already mixed some glue in here today already, and uh, I've run out, so I thought I'd just make a video of me mixing some more. Um, and it's really simple. So if I get a bit closer to you, yeah? you can see a bit better there. All right, I need to be able to stick these braces down, and I'm going to be using this, this plastic tub and the Cascomite Padded Resin Wood Glue. And all I do is, it's very simple really, um, there, is, there is a couple little tricks and that you've got to think about. Um, but all I do is I grab my glue like so, yeah, stick it into the pot like so, all right? And then I use one of these little, whatever you call them, plastic container dispenser um, for the water, and I'll just dribble that into the glue. The, this is where the trick comes. You must not put too much in at once. So you start with a little, you mix it in, and it'll become like a bit like just lumpy powdery stuff <laughs> so you can see it's starting to stick to the to spatula and you mix that in first oh clouds but then what happened is the powder will start breaking down and accept the moisture now in the summer it actually mixes a lot easier than it does in the winter because when it's cold it, it it takes long it has to like get up to temperature before it'll actually um, become smooth and creamy consistency so the sort of consistency you are after is very similar to PVA glue. That's the ideal consistency. You can make it a bit thicker if you want. You can make it thin. You know? um, but ideally, like the PVA. So I suppose that'd be a bit like cream, I suppose. Yeah, just... Okay, so you, I've just added a little bit more water in there. And you, if I don't even see that on there, it's actually... It's not... Um, it looks lumpy. It just looks like... I don't know, porridge or lumpy custard. So you just keep mixing and mixing, mixing. And don't be tempted at this stage to add more water. Because what will happen is it'll start, the pad will start breaking down. And um, before you add more water, I'm talking about. It, and it will, you'll find it will, it will, like it is now, it's becoming more and more creamy. A bit more like the custard corn, yeah. A bit more like PVA. If you put too much water in at an early stage, what will happen is it'll start, um, breaking down and becoming more of a cream, but be runny. Uh, you just have added too much water at that point, and it's not a good idea to try and add more resin into that. You can, you might be okay, but generally you shouldn't. You've got to get it right from the beginning. So the, the, the knack is, it's a little at a time, mix, 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 a little bit more water, mix, 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 a little bit more water. So now I have it, I'm quite happy with it now, it's quite smooth. And yeah, there's a couple of lumps in there, but that's um, pretty much there now. So it doesn't take long. It really doesn't take long. There's no reason 
that you haven't got time to use something like this. There are other benefits with using um, Castamite. One is it goes off very hard, unlike PVA, which is kind of rubbery, you know, a bit like me. Yeah? And, but the, the, the powdered resin would do. If I find an old pot, I can show you. There's one there. It goes off very hard and quite brittle. So it's not very good for um, items that require a lot of flexibility. But as you see here, if I just give it a little crunch, can you see what I mean? How that glue's coming out of there? Almost as a whole thing. I've got the whole, that's going to be a piece of art. So if you see there, how brittle that is. But because it's hard and it's brittle like that, you can sand it. So, if you want to make wood filler, for instance, this works really well. So all you do is put some fine sawdust into there, whatever colour you've got or want to use, um, and mix it into a little bit of this, and you'll end up with a very easily sandable finish. It will shrink, and you'll have to do it a couple of times, but generally, you can sand it quite happily. So, um, I hope you found that of help, and um, of interest, etc. And maybe you will try... Um, some of this powdered res resin, a little, 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 blah, blah, some powdered resin wood glue yourself, such as the cascamite or resin tight um, uh, glues. So the other, the other nice thing about them is, is that they're easy to store. They don't get damaged with frost, so you can store. If you've got something dry um, or sealed, and you store it outside, outside, but you know, in a, in a barn or a workshop, um, it's not going to get damaged with frost. I have lost quite a lot in, of PVA glues in the past because they fr um, they stuck, but they freeze, they separate and become all like, um, glutinous, um, and you can't really use them. They had it at that point. So there you have it. If you can click like, <laughs> thumbs up, and subscribe, that would be very much appreciated, and that might encourage me to carry on. It's not not that easy doing this. <laughs> So thank you for watching.